All right, now we're in the subway. We're gonna keep moving, right? Time to blend in. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? Blood loss. We've got to keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. I don't know where to go. <clears throat> now it can't go this way. There you go. Nice, we got through. Watch where you're going, motherfucker! Ow. Hey, watch it, man! Please! Stop or I'll shoot! Too late! They got away! Nice! Oh, wait, they're not away yet! Fuck, move! I thought we were done, we didn't get away. See, I never did this segment because in my first playthrough I fucked it up. And I got caught. I went back again and redid it afterward. Keep moving. I should get to the stairs, I think. Just gotta keep moving. Like how people randomly still walk into you like assholes. What the hell? We've got across the tracks. Oh my god, seriously? Quick. I seriously don't remember this at all. Move! Oh! Hurry up! Oh my god, X! 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 <laughs> wow. Go! It's our only chance. They made it. Alright, now the segment's over, I think. Yep. They lost them. Thank you, Master Saru, for 25 bit cheese. I never played this game before, but I've seen gameplay for you and others. Is it a good game? It's pretty tense, especially if you don't know who the killer is and what's going on. It's pretty good. You know, if you already played it once or twice, then yeah. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. So I guess you bandaged him up again. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Wow. Everything, huh? Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. I'm a strict vegan, so I hope everything there's gluten-free, you know, meat-free. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. I actually only eat hummus. I only eat they different kinds of hummus. <laughs> You're gonna have to go back to Is the store. True? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. 
as if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. No, <laughs> it's so stupid. Bodies in the water. And none of this is ever explained why he has these visions because they they cut it why from the game. Hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? <clears throat> so, Master Sergeant Chiu said it makes zero sense that Ethan is the killer. They're hunting him down based off of the testimony of his ex-wife, right? Or they're hunting him down based off of coerced testimony out of a fucking therapist. They beat the shit out of him, which can't be used as evidence, right? They don't have a shred of evidence that he's the killer yet. And Anonosaurus Rex did a 47-bit cheer and said, "Don't fuck her. Send that stooping hoe back in the rain." <clears throat> I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? Then they let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. Maybe a gratuitous sex scene in this hotel room? Sean <laughs> will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. She really has like nothing going on in her life, does she? That she just keeps hanging out with him? Like, what the hell? She has nothing else to do? She doesn't even have a job? <laughs> Hunting all games. Just cheery. He said, it's hard to believe, but Crash Bandicoot and South Park are coming to the Switch. Woo hoo. And I'm sure they'll run at poor frame rates and lower resolution than every other console. Just like everything else that's multi-platform on Switch. <clears throat> okay. Amazing, there's people in here. <laughs> They've been hiding out. Shout out to Hot Stuff Chris, who just resubbed to the channel for the 16th month in a row. Thank you, Hot Stuff Chris, for the resub. And for the long-standing support. Let's take a leak. And thank you to Master Saru who cheered and said, All the plot holes of this game were cut to my knowledge because David Cage's ego and realism. Uh, I don't know. Like, apparently they really wanted to have this game to have a fun supernatural twist. And then for whatever reason, they said, No, they wanted it to be hyper-realistic. And they removed them all. Like, there were like three different segments that had supernatural parts to them. And apparently they were all cut. And his visions are one of them. It's supposed to be like a supernatural thing that they cut. So it never makes any sense in this game why he's having these visions or why he's seeing people in water. It's funny because the previous game that Quantic Dream made, Indigo Prophecy, the le next game they made, Beyond Two Souls, all had supernatural twists. This is the only one that doesn't. And because of that, it kind of doesn't make sense. Okay. Get out of here. Alright, time for trial number four. The Trial of the Silver Monkey. What is it? What is that thing? A bird? I can't see what it was. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784 Longway Road, Lexington. Kill him, send a picture, and get your reward. Yes. So here's the trial where stuff's fucked up. It's a moral decision. Does he kill a guy to save his son? Or does he do the right thing? Which means don't kill the guy. Right? So, dun dun dun.